This episode includes disturbing imagery. Viewer discretion is advised. Lots of coal. I'd be better off finding a tool. Okay. Yeah, you just stand there, I guess. That's fine. Perfect. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. All right. That should do it. Let's move. Oh, shit. Shoot him. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! <laughs> you're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Gross. Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Oh, do it. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Good job. Good job, Ethan. I am Pierce. How dare you. I don't know where I gotta use him from. No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? All you did for her safety was. Throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. Don't but give me her that identity, shit. Her power is what threatens Don't her. Don't give me that shit. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? The bandit! But she refused! At first... Sarah condemned Francis Saunders the moment she offered him the wonder. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. My guy, you look Even like one. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then... We get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. I'm calling the bullshit. Good job, Sarah. Mm. 
gross. You could walk that injury injury off. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Pierce. Kill that son of a bitch. I don't know. I wouldn't take anything coming out of a man who had tentacle arms. Um seriously to me that makes him crazy <laughs> after the death of colden pierce a victim of hallucinations advanced inside the riverside institute to the point of discovering sarah hawkins alive prisoner of dr fuller the last confrontation between Charles Hawkins and his wife has revealed that the man, under his monstrous appearance, tried to protect her from the influence of the myth. He warned Pierce, if Sarah succumbs to the lures of the occult, she will lose all free will, allowing the cult to bring its plan to fruition, summon an ancient and evil god. Henceforth, Pierce must now must know more about Sarah Hawkins' intentions and find a way to protect her. I don't like how sympathetic you are towards Charles Hawkins, who literally had a fight with his wife that killed his kids and called his wife crazy and got her locked up in a loony bin. I'm just saying. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. Mm. In a world such as this My one? work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? <clears throat> I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You, you owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. Fuck you. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> you are mine. Ew. It's over now. Hmm. We knew that there was a fire earlier, but you didn't know that there was a fire. I also didn't know that he caught fire, so that's something new. Oh, cool, we're hallucinating again. Awesome. Mmm, da <laughs> Daddy Cthulhu. Cool, cool. Tentacle Daddy. We have CP to use. Oh, 
There we go. I would like to do that. Yes. Oh. I can hear my husband loudly playing games downstairs. Do I have a choice? Mr. Pierce. We were waiting for you. You seem a lot less Good. crazy now. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Okay, Titus. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. Okay. My... Get out of here. Goodbye. I ain't drinking that whiskey anymore. Let's talk. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong, so ancient, enticing, dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce, but I can't come back to Boston with you. Hmm. You feel guilty, obviously. There is a cult in dark Darkwater. Well, we know that. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. It's this true. isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. This is not the I know way. what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. I have the valid sanity. There must be a way to fight it so we all die. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. Does it involve radiation, nuclear stuff, uh, water works on the subterranean type? What are we what are we talking here? I'm not drinking that. As an alcoholic who accidentally drank some of that earlier. As in Pierce is an alcoholic, not me. Anything to pick up? Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Ooh. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Mrs. Hawkins never told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. How did she survive her encounter with the Shambler? How did she react? Was she afraid? Um, obviously one would be afraid, my dude. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Why are we being so sympathetic towards him? He's the reason that she went fucking nuts. Oh, 
What did that say? Did that say that I failed something? I would like to retry that again. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I can't see shit. Stop it! Twenty leagues under the sea. I think that said that I failed to recreate that, I think. I'm gonna have to look it over in the video edit. Oh, little one's room. Yo, Eldradon. Oh, this is not Eldradon. There's really nothing we want to talk about in here. I find that very hard to believe, but okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Yo, Algernon. I read a book with your name in it once and it didn't end well for Algernon, I'm just saying. So it's quite foreboding for you. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. I don't care why you're here. He's in love with her. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. <gasps> the symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? We are dealing with forces that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. Wow, dude. re fucking lax. I'm going with the crazy. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce. Written by Abdul Alhazred. Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes, and oh. even though it is a copy, given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University, the work remains very powerful. I understand better why you keep it in a safe. The dagger with the strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger. <laughs> But I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... permanent solution. It must never come back. Thank you, Turbo. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. This creature, the Shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift, a connection with entities that live beyond our reality. Oof. I doubt that she was aware at the time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. And now it remains in our reality. Mm -hmm, Let mm -hmm. us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we make enticing prey for it. 
That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from permanently. Okay, okay, okay. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, <laughs> but it does happen that, yes, I do have a You solution. two do not get along. I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. And to be able to do so, I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. What does it look like? It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I've already seen that sign. Where can we find it? Therein lies the problem. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Wow. Fuck you, my guy. I don't know why he's got such a big attitude with us, but whatever. I love stories that involve giving characters sudden super intelligence. I really enjoyed Ted Chang's short story, Understand, which is a similar plot. Ooh, I'll have to give it a look. Okay, so I have to find this bust. Obviously, it's in her office. I mean... That's where all the busts were. I hate that they're trying to be like the sympathetic, like, oh, he tried to protect his wife after he locked her up literally in a cell to let someone experiment horrifically on her. Like, no, don't even fucking dare go there with me. Hi guys, have you seen your buddy, your pal? Oh, wait, maybe it's in that, um, I'm gonna check in here just real quick first. Ew. Oh, I wanna know where this is. This is in the library. This is actually where I was gonna go, was this, this point in the library. So that's kind of funny. Hey, look at that. Pretty. This is the amulet that Drake was looking for. This will affect my destiny. Okay. I only have one. I'm gonna up my psychology. I think that's my smartest bet right now. It's to like level with these guys. I think it's up my psychology. All right, let's go take this back to Algernon. Story of your life. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I've even seen a film called Arrival. I'll have to look into it. I'm probably I'm I've read a bunch of stuff. I'm sure I've stumbled upon something of his. I got really into short stories there for a hot minute too, so Ah, uh, it's you again. I found your damn necklace. Don't complain. I think I've found what we're looking for. Let me see that. Yes, that's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Wait, did you see that tile? What tile? Where? What are we talking about? Oh, 
Oh, this. Yeah. I actually don't mind the black and white. I, I mean, I don't like linoleum, but like black and white actual tile, I do like. I just want to make sure. No, we don't. We're not giving the alcoholic whiskey. Just making sure that there's nothing else for me to grab. All right, I'm gonna take a quick potty bake. Bake. I'm gonna take a quick potty break as well and grab some more water. Keep my voice lubricated. So I will be right back, guys. One second. Go fight some shit. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand. I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to... I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, it is. Yes. Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Where have you been hiding, my dude? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. <coughs> That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. You bet I will. That I wasn't capitalized. All right, take me to jail. You have no, pr I mean, technically I did set that fire. <laughs> I did actually set that fire. <laughs> With the help of Eldernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that covet her. The painter told him of her desire to track down and kill the dimensional shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. Spooky. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Yeah. All good, I hope. Yeah. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Really? Entering private property twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. 
I'm serious. Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? No. I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. Bye. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Good night, Mr. Pierce. Bye, asshole. This all took a wild turn, and I this is at the point where I started to get a little bit confused. But I think we can all agree that Charles is the worst. <laughs>